So it's like a nose and that there is a flesh in the middle. So yes, I do have a left vagina and a right vagina. It doesn't allow me to open up. So my name is Elizabeth Amoa, the woman with two booms, two services and two vagina canals. During my mother's pregnancy, when my I was a reproductive organs were you know being formed, normally every female fetus is start with two little tubes that join together to you know form a big organ called the womb. In my case, those two little tubes fail to join together. This is why I was born with those two separate wombs. So it's two wombs and then the servers um, to mine is also two and then the canals is the, which is the vagina is also divided into two. Basically my right womb is healthier than my left womb. So whenever I get pregnant in my left womb it will not survive. I can be pregnant in my right womb and still have my menstrual period you know, menstrual period was through my left. This is why when I was pregnant with my daughter, I was seeing blood. It is possible for women with my condition to, to actually uh, get pregnant in both wombs. The, having two womb, two services, two vagina canals, you are not the healthiest person. And um, this kind of condition can lead to a lot of complications in terms of being high risk to or kidney diseases, to miscarriages, to stillbirth, and premature delivery. Each time that I have to go to the hospital, it was like something was taken away from me. Me sitting here, you wonder how come I have had six surgeries and none of the surgeries kill me. I had to take things in my own hands as eating the right food, living a certain lifestyle. And, and that tells you that even medical professionals, some of them don't know how to deal with women with my condition. There were points that I was crawling on the floor just because I was so much in pain. Sometimes I would faint, you know, ambulance would take me to hospitals. And yesterday they would say there was nothing wrong with me. Each time I was broken, I was sad, I was asking questions. And, and it, it prevented me from having a regular job, like a normal full-time job. At one point, I couldn't sit more than three, three hours or four hours. Even right now, I can't sit more than four hours, although I am healthier than before. And this is how my dream was taken away. My mother was never diagnosed with uterus diaphysis. My sisters don't have uterus diaphysis. Even my daughter, she doesn't have uterus diaphysis. So the question is, where did I get mine from? Do you know that uterus diaphysis is in the same category as hermaphrodite and also intersex? Because they are all real congenital abnormalities. There was a lot of stigma. I mean, I remember when I came out, the first, first time I came out, it was a radio station in Ghana and people started tagging me, the Ghanaian lady with two, two vaginas. They didn't even mention the womb and people were really, really grimy. People were laughing, people were insulting me. I had a lot of backlash and just the comments that were coming and I was like, wow. So after five years that I've come out, I still, you know, get people, you know, insulting me or laughing or thinking this is this is funny i am a very stubborn person and this is how i was able to get answers after i would say at least two decades of my life doctors were not giving me the right answers a lot of the medical professionals nurses were thinking oh i was making it up they gave me all sorts of medication from antidepressant to strong painkillers i had at least 10 or 15 scans both internally and on on my you know my my tummy yes though no one knew i had double womb or even double vagina kind of until five years after i have my daughter it has been a blessing in disguise the reason being i have become the voice and, and i know there are a lot of women out there that do not feel comfortable to talk about it and after me the question is how many people out there do feel comfortable my advice to women going through my kind of condition is do not keep quiet. Do not suffer in silence. Seek early diagnosis and appropriate treatment. And remember, you are special.